Hi Minglings, it's Friday. I have so many keys on my keychain right now. First reason I have so many keys is that I drive two different cars. Sometimes I drive my mom's car and sometimes I drive the car that my sister and I share. This is the Prius key, which doesn't have like a physical metal key because it's wireless. It knows it, that you're in the car and it's just like a push start button thing. It's really fancy. It's like a 2012 Prius. So it's just like all the newfangled technology. And it's really cool that I don't even have to actually physically insert a key into the car to make it go. The other car is older, so I have a physical metal key and then the remote part for that one. I also have the key to where I work because my boss apparently trusts me with that. Right now I pet sit for two different people and so this is their house key and their mailbox key and the tag that goes with it and then the other one has their, they live in an apartment so they have the, the outdoor key and the indoor key and the tag that goes with it. I also have the house key of somebody that I babysit for and they have the tag that goes with it also. And then I have my house key. The thing that I find really interesting is that keys kind of all look the same. There's four keys that look nearly identical. The four silver like typical house key style and I just find it so fascinating that little differences in the key shape can totally make or break whether or not you're able to go into a house. It amazes me that they can make that many keyholes. Like no two keys are exactly the same because that would defeat the point of having a key at all. But the fact that they can make so many different combinations is just like, I don't know why I find it so fascinating. I mean, you don't really think about it that often, but when you do think about it, it's kind of cool. I live in a very safe neighborhood, so probably if I left my door unlocked 24 seven, probably nothing would ever happen. Other places, people depend a lot on their keys for safety and privacy. You know, in driver's ed, they taught us to hold our keys like this when we're going to unlock our car, in case somebody were to like come up and try to steal our car, if we could stab them. And I have a really hard time imagining myself stabbing anyone, even if I were in danger, but I guess that's a good thing to teach us. But at the same time, this is kind of uncomfortable and not really like, I don't know. The first key I ever got was my house key in about third grade, I think. I used to walk to school and I was a latchkey kid, which means that both my parents worked full time. So I would have a house key, I would walk home, let myself in, and then have to wait around for my parents to come home. That phrase really interests me, latchkey kid. Because it implies that a lot of my childhood was spent alone, but also that I had a lot of responsibility. Which I guess is true, but the phrase is interesting to me that we have that phrase at all. There's almost a negative connotation about the parents of latchkey kids, because the idea of, oh, your child has to let themselves in and be home alone until you're done working. I guess it goes back to how a lot of moms used to be stay-at-home moms. In fact, there was a time when all moms were stay-at-home moms. And that phrase gets at how mothers are sometimes kind of looked down upon for working when they have young kids. Both my parents have full-time jobs and there was a time when my mom worked part-time, but I never felt like they were abandoning me. And in fact, I enjoyed alone time. I enjoyed just being able to have the house to myself. And I used to watch Full House when I came home from school and eat snacks and all that. I was always self-sufficient. So I never needed anybody to come home and take care of me at three o'clock. And that would have been really unreasonable for my parents' jobs. You know, when you go to school from nine to three, that's not a whole lot of time to be at an office job. I frequently got myself off to school because I walked and I didn't need my parents for transportation, so I didn't need them to wait around for me. I could just do it myself. Tell me if you can top my number of keys, and if not, what keys do you have on your keychain? Zach, I'll see you tomorrow.